In this video, you'll learn how to add a Stripe donate button on your WordPress website, and we'll do it with a recurring option. So this is great for nonprofits and anyone who does monetary donations on their site. There are three things you want to make sure that you have for your site. You want to have a Stripe account that makes it super easy for you to accept donations or accept payments. You'll also want to make sure that your site has an SSL certificate on it. That simply means this little padlock up here that is encrypting the data between you and the visitor who is putting in the donation information. And then you'll also want to have a way to accept the Stripe payments. And for this, we'll be using WP Forms, which is a great contact form plugin. But WP Forms also does a lot for your business side of things. So let's get started. Once you make sure you have your Stripe account and you go ahead and make sure that you have an SSL certificate, most major hosting companies say like Bluehost or SiteGround will automatically add a free SSL certificate for you. So make sure you check out one of those if you don't already, and they'll also help you set it up. Then you'll want to go in and set up the Stripe account. It's free to get started. The only thing that you get charged are transaction fee when someone actually adds a donation. So it's a minor transaction fee. And then you'll want to also make sure that you go to WP Forms to get the and then also head over to WP Forms to get the pro version or higher to get this started. Once you're done with all that, let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. From our dashboard, we're going to head over to our plugins area and we'll click add new. You'll want to upload the WP Forms plugin that you just downloaded. Once you upload it, you'll want to click install now and then also make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Once we activate it, we'll see this tab over here. So let's go ahead and go to settings and make sure that we add our license key so that everything will work. We'll verify the key and you should get a site is now active. And now what we want to do is go to our add-ons area because we need to add on the Stripe add-on. Scroll down to the Stripe add-on. Let's go ahead and click install now. And once it installs, it'll actually go through and activate it for us as well. So that's awesome. And now we can get this set up. Now that the Stripe add-on is there, let's go back over to settings so we can click on the payments area and we need to set this up. Basically, if you're wanting to test things, you want to do the test publishable keys. These are API keys. And then once your site goes live, you'll want to add the live publishable keys and the live secret key. And that way you can either test it while you're still working on it, or once you're ready to go live, then these will be the live versions that will process the payments. So once you log into your dashboard, you want to go to developers, API keys to get started. And these are the standard publishable keys. So those are the ones that we want. I'm going to right click copy. I'm going to add that down here under the live publishable. Paste. And you need to reveal the live token for the secret key. Copy that as well and paste that under the live secret key. And then if you want to do some testing, you can go back and get the test data. So if I toggle that into testing view, these are our test keys. And you see it says test in the token. So I'm going to copy that. And then this is only if you need to test the donate button, but I do recommend that you do it just to make sure that everything works. When you're, when you are in testing mode, go ahead and click the in test mode to make sure that nothing is processed. Once you add all of that information, go ahead and click save settings, and then we should be good to go to set up the next item. Okay. Now we actually need to create the donation form. So let's head over to add new under WP forms. And there are several templates that you can choose from. You scroll down, you see a few of these. One here is a donation form. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And then we set up the donation form on how we like it. I like to do simple under name, email. From here is the donation amount. And this is what people can type in to give a donation. And since we're doing Stripe, we also need to add a credit card field. So let's scroll down to the payments field and we need to get the credit card and we'll put that under donation amount. And this will be all the credit card information that they need to fill out. Now that we've added that, we also need to go over to the payments area, Stripe, 
so that we can enable Stripe payments. And then here, give a description for it. The Stripe email receipt, that's who will get the Stripe payment receipt in their email. And then down here, you see you can enable recurring subscription payments, and this will be for monthly, yearly. You see here, we can do monthly, daily, quarterly, semi-annually, or yearly. You wanna set that up and then name it, and then select the customer email. Okay, all of that's set up, so the next thing we wanna do is come over to settings, and under confirmation, this is the confirmation message that the person will get, and you can either choose to do a message, and you'll definitely, since you're setting up a donation, you want to change this. You can even, from the dropdown, redirect them to either a page or even a separate URL to another website if you want. Basically, it would be a good idea to probably set this up as a thank you page that tells them what's going to happen next or what will happen with their monthly donation or whatever information you want to give them. That's where you want to put that. Great, and that looks good. So the final thing you need to do is simply save this, and now we need to actually put it on our website. So we're going to make sure that we have that saved, exit out of here, and we need to, we'll create a new page. So I'm gonna to go to pages, add new, and then once you add the page, you'll want to add the block, and you need to look for WP Forms block, or you can type it in to search for it. WP Forms is what we want, and then you want to select the form that we just created. So we're gonna do the donation form, and you'll see that'll pull all of that in so you can take a look and see how it looks for you. Once you're happy with all of that, let's go ahead and click Publish, and then we can see it in action on our site. And now when people come here, they can go through and give a donation. Since we set this up as recurring, you'll probably want to add something that this is a recurring donation and let them know. And that's a real quick and easy way to add Stripe Donate button in your WordPress site with a recurring option. And thanks for watching.